Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Covert Action Returns! It's time to return to the Temporaris Hideout. It's slightly swarming of guards, but this is okay for using the car technique. We could quickly pull away and uh, get caught as soon as possible, eliminate the guards, and then we'll capture this mastermind. The mastermind needs capturing, this is true. The built a nuclear device, and let's be honest, random nuclear devices are not a good idea. So we should uh, stop this. Unfortunately, the nuclear device has already been made, so uh, the chief's not going to be too happy with me. Let's just put it that way. But, quick leap away from the grenade. <laughs> that was close. Um, if we can arrest the mastermind, that would be good enough. Because at least, well, good enough for me, not good enough for the game. The game's going to think I, I ruined it, but I will, I will get the nuke. I will get the mastermind. And so all's well that ends well, right? Sort of. Not really. <laughs> but at least we'll, uh, at least we'll have the mastermind in custody and the nuclear device. And then the feds can do whatever they want with it. I don't really care at that point. So we do have the motion sensor. We're going to go with maximum grenades. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to go for the gas mask. And here, so the strategy is going to be fortress. We're going to fortress up. So it's going to stay here and we're going to gas the place. It's very tempting to go further. But I found that they just tend to come in too quickly. I could do that. Means I get a disguise. We'll lob a grenade in. We must quickly, quickly leap over these desks. Very quickly. That's going to set off the alarm. So they know I'm in here. So what we're going to do? We're actually going to leave. I said we're going to fortress up. I lied. <laughs> so now what we're going to do instead is we're going to place a F11, no, F9. We're going to place a booby trap right there. I'm going to go ahead and head around this direction. I'm going to start to employ subtlety. Oh no, they're, they're starting to split up. That's that's not so good. But if we can just continue to make them get distracted, hopefully that grenade will alert them and they'll keep going towards the door. This is the one that concerns me now, is this guy here. But if they're going up, they're going to get gassed in that room there. This is actually going surprisingly well. I like it. There's no one here. They're all getting gassed in that room that I've lured them into. This is working excellently. I'll take that nuclear device. I'll take the mastermind. Yes, I will take you. Let's go. That room is no longer gassed, however, so we're going to have to quickly make our escape through the southeastern exit. We're also going to once again place a booby trap here. That booby trap play, though, has made all the difference. Now, I could have done this two videos ago, but it's using a little bit of subtlety, gassing a room, getting spotted, leaving the room, so they all get stuck in there, and then using a remote controlled explosive to raise the alarm so they keep chasing me all around the bend. Didn't even take a single hit. And there we go, the mastermind is arrested, and the case is closed. Look at that. I mean, maybe the case is closed. Good job, Max, you found the nuke. That should really slow down the operation, considering that's what the whole operation was about. We accuse the mastermind of taking part in the plot, and he breaks down. Organizers in hiding. The financier is still around in uh, Mexico City. Procurers in hiding. Supplier is still around in Midland. Manufacturer is also still around. So what might happen, possibly, is that the, the other people come out of hiding so that they can remake the product. If that makes sense. Excellent work, Max! Julio Ramirez is a mastermind we've been tracking for years! This outfit should be out of commission for a long time to come! Yes! <laughs> happy, happy chief! He'll, he'll, he won't be happy forever. He'll, he'll still be upset that a nuke was allowed to be made. But it's okay, I'm sure the CIA will have to handle a nuke existing. They've, they've dealt with nukes before, right? Alright, so Carl Tamsin of the Jamaican gang in Bogota. 
So let's head to the airport. We're going to head over to Bogota. So Angus Diego has gone into hiding. Okay. Bulletin. Interpol Newsnet. Here we go. A highly placed asset within the Jamaican gang. River reports that they have been able to manufacture a nuclear bomb. What's this? This probably means I'm going to lose even more points, but if I can seize the bomb and arrest the manufacturer, that would be something, right? So already he's re reproduced the weapon. Of course, we've got to arrest him again. We arrested him before, didn't admit the evidence, but he'll have a nuclear bomb on him now. So now we've got two nukes. Double nuclear device. There we are. Bomb those people. We're slightly taking some wounds there, that's not quite the idea. Because he might go into hiding with his nuke. That would actually genuinely be a concern, to be fair. That's also a concern too. The fact that I'm just running it down here. There we are. Let's just fire some long range grenades. Fire another one. Alright, where are you? I'm coming for you. There we are. Eliminate all the enemies. Unfortunately, it's still a day and a half in the infirmary. Not my best overt action experience. It's got to be said. Nevertheless, Bogota, Colombia. Uh, Arturo Alvarez has gone into hiding. But you're not the manufacturer, the person I'm really going for right now. Mercenaries? You can get up from the mercenaries, that's fine. Hostraz A23. Oh, there he goes. Yep, so that's that. It looks like that about wraps it up, Max. We've been able to get put together a pretty good chronology in this case. Take a look. Okay, looks looky here. So, we've seen this case before. It's the nuclear device, create, create the bomb thing. So, there is accidentally a second nuke on the loose. So I guess there is a reason to be a little bit upset with me. Whoops. That made the product twice. So the second nuke... Yeah, there is a nuke on the loose. My bad. <laughs> I did get arrested on the, uh, in the streets of... I did get put... I had took too many bullets and begotta, and that, that's why I couldn't get the second nuke. Do you realise how serious this is? They could blow up New York, Washington, London, Tel Aviv. Get out of my sight. You have also captured the mercenary controlling the Tamperos. The country's been saved. There is still a rogue nuke. But don't worry about that, the president commends you. And even then, we're still not at the laundromat. Yeah, that guy's like, oh, you built a nuke? I'm getting out of here. <laughs> so, uh, couldn't stop a nuclear bomb, but we did arrest the person responsible. All right, so promoted me for two ranks from that performance. <laughs> the change difficulty level. Feels good. Uh, let's save the game. Ignore this silly case. You know, it's been, I was going, mm -hmm. halfway through. Should I just redo the whole thing? No. Iron Man it. So, I'm going to try and make sure that we get one of my new cases next time around, rather than playing the same mission set again. So excuse the break in recording. Oh, not that you'll notice. There has been increased covert activity around our military bases. The Pentagon is worried. People nosing around military bases make the brass suspicious. Could lead to some sort of attack, or the theft of secrets or something. It may be nothing, and they may be serious. The president thinks it's serious, so that's all that matters. Check out these reports and find out who's behind it. We have indications that an operation is in preparation somewhere in Central America. Your mission is to prevent this operation from succeeding, and to capture as many of the participants as possible. Caution. One or more double agents are believed to be active within the CIA. I'm sure you could recognize the head of the Red Brigades. <laughs> Here is some info picked up over the last few days. We think it's late to this operation. What do we got, eh? Airline ticket Sabina number 47 has been traced to M16. MI6, rather. <laughs> We have a suspected double agent, a Honda Civic number 26, the Mafia, a known blackmailer. Interesting. One moment. 
So about that, I just wanted to make sure that this was the case that we needed to be working on. So as you could see, we have the following clues. We have the Sabina 47, which has been traced to the MI6. I'm just gonna make my notes now, because I was skipping through it before, because I wasn't sure if this was a case that I wanted to play. Because uh, I'm sort of realizing that we really need to zero in on the cases that I've done that are new, because I think that we've, uh, we've given COVID action a good run lately. I thought I want to try another game soon. But we'll see how things time out. Obviously, I can uh, keep going for a few weeks if I want. So we've got Honda Civic number 26 is being used in Mexico City. Okay, let's write that down. We've got the SATCOM number 30, which is a telegram traced to the MARF here. Okay, and with the Swedish passport number 5, it's been traced to a known blackmailer. Hmm. known blackmailer. Okay. So this should be a, a nice breath of fresh air. This is, uh, what's well, not a case we've done yet in this LP. So let's, let's enjoy it, shall we? So we've got a few people that we can look into. For example, we know that the Mafia are involved. We know that the MI6 are involved. So we could start with some wiretaps to get us off to a good start. So let's do that. Let's head over to the MI6 office and place a wiretap. The guards are unsuspecting. I sort of suspect that there won't be much uh, going on in Washington, but, you know. The Hidi and Junta have come up, as well as Jamie Diaz. We should write this down. No, Jaime Diaz, sorry. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I might be totally wrong in that. <laughs> okay, we got what this piece here. That seems good, this piece here also does well. This is not a piece we want right there. We actually want another twisty twisty. Yes. Yes we do. Nothing at all really has been going down. So many twisty twisties are required. London. Okay. London. We've got a few limited clues there. There wasn't too much to be gathered, but that's okay. We've completed the phone taps. Let's leave. We're now wiretap the Mafia. Once we've got some more clues, we can then start to really try to get things sorted. So let's place a wiretap here and see what we can do from here. The guards are cautious. We have eight minutes. So, so there's already some suspicion. Okay, well, let's carry on. Nothing as of yet. Um, let's see what else we could do. This piece here, maybe? Nope. We need another twisty twisty, don't we? We could take this piece. San Guan. This passport appears on Swedish passport number five. So the blackmailer has a cheeky grin, handlebars, moustache, and sunglasses. That sounds like a blackmailer to me, don't you? What do you think? Death squads. Oh no, when the death squads are involved. They might be the bad guys. What do you think? <laughs> All right, uh, up here. We want to be careful of this piece that I've managed to pick up because it could lead to all sorts of excitement. Okay. So in this case, we still want to keep that top piece red. Um, so what we actually want is we want to do that, grab this piece, and then apply it here. Yes, that's lit that phone up now quite nicely. Okay, so now is there any real consequence to me just making this whole thing green? I don't think so. We have a face, and we have we have a clue. <laughs> Apparently, this Swedish passport was last used and recorded in Washington. We have a message as well. Mm, let's do some cryptography, I think. 
we'll be able to find out all about this here message. Maybe this case will just be nice and going swimmingly after all, and, I didn't, and all of my worrying about trying to roll into a case that I wanted to see was unnecessary. Let's see though, go to the CIA office and we'll do some investigation. Go to the crypto branch, coded messages. So received a message from someone in Mexico City. All right, it's a short message. Let's start with B being A. And that being the case, M, well then I believe M would be G, P would be R, I would be T, Q would be I, N would be N, F would be S, U would be F, R will be O, K will be M, greeting uh, A will be X, H will be C, uh, Z will be T Y, G will be U, uh, C will be A, uh, e will be F, uh, sorry, E will be H, S will be V, O will be L. <laughs> I was just reading that straight out, wasn't I? Greetings from Mexico City. Our enemy is on the verge of collapse. We'll have the photographs you need shortly. I am sure fighter pilot will not be able to resist your threats. Oh no, not fighter pilot. Yes, we have a photographer and a blackmailer. Heinrich Mueller and... Uh, Agent N of Mexico City. So Miller's a blackmailer, is he? Well, let's go and sort him out then. He's right here. If we could turn him into a double agent, that would be quite useful. Uh, or we could just arrest him because he's the key, <laughs> the key target, like, right? Like, technically we don't actually care if this guy's unfaithful to his wife. Uh, what we do care about is if that information is used to press him into doing compromising behavior. So, uh, by, and by compromising, we mean uh, stealing a fighter jet. <laughs> so let's go to the Mafia safe house and put a stop to this nonsense. Right here, right now. I'm enjoying myself, why not? One moment, please. Let's take the usual loadout of loadiness. We'll enter door number three, which contains many floor safes. We wrote, learned that Ralph Olsen is signed for that telegram. We're going to very quickly link Heinrich Muller to the uh, information that we've got recovered so far. Okay, so we've learned that Agent U is in the Amazon cartel in Mexico City. I better write that down. So that's Amazon cartel. Okay. There'll be plenty of information here to grab. He's going to be a double agent for us, which is quite good. We find a gas mask. And we have an action team. Ralph Olsen in Kingston and Heinrich Miller in Washington. This case is not going to go well. I mean, unless I literally run it down right now. This, this mission set is over. I was like, oh, I got a mission set I wanted. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I accidentally just beat the game. <laughs> but uh, it's probably a little bit early to be celebrating. After all, we must make sure to uh, accumulate all the information that we require. Honda Civic number 26 has been linked to a, a photo video specialist. Yes. Oh, that floor safe contained nothing. Well, this, these previous floor safes have not been bad. Kingston, where does gathering all the evidence up with both arms here. This is excellent. An excellent run thus far. I might as well make a leisurely stroll. Okay, so this person in Mexico City is Jose Co uh, Cordoba. I believe it's how you pronounce it. Jose, maybe. I'm getting confused. Okay. <laughs> We managed to navigate entering through a door. That was more difficult than it should have been, but hey, we got through it. Doors are hard. <laughs> I guess we just really need to find this Irik character now, right? Like, really? Uh, 
Uh, oh, well, you got a shot off. I was trying to be sneaky. No, let's just go this way, because they'll all get bored trying to chase me. Let's use the booby trap trick again. That'll really sort them out. They're busy just grenading that office to smithereens anyway. That's that guy sorted. Gas grenades! But as we have the gas mask, not bad actually. For once, the gas mask drop has actually not done too badly. And as it was uh, probably clear already, the organizer, inside contact, photographer, and blackmailer of the people involved in this case. Who knows, he may end up on a beach or a casino at this rate. Fortunately, with the Uzi, we're gunning them down quite easily. Well, he just took his hit and left. Oh well. Where is this enemy agent anyway? I don't want to use the grenades of resurrection. Really, I actually just want to grenade this room to smithereens. There's so many guards right there. It's concerning. Stuck on the double doors. Let's pop in. Grenade. Grenade again. There's one more guy. And there he is. So what's happened is they've gassed themselves. Over there. So we'll pick up their corpses. And their grenades, of course. And we'll continue. Let's place another booby trap here. Where are you anyway? Good old Bob? No, not Bob. Heinrich, that's his name. Heinrich Müller. There he is, flanked by his two couches where his various co-conspirators would sit. But it is not enough. Let us leave. Our work complete. If I say so myself, I think it's been a good episode, actually. Despite the fact we accidentally let a nuke happen last time, <laughs> you know, this has not turned out too badly. This case is effectively shattered. It also goes to show the comparison between one of my cases, which is actually quite difficult to solve, versus an original case. This is actually one of the original cases from the game, which I solved in, like, for two minutes. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So we have turned the blackmailer. Good job, Max. This Heinrich Müller is a pretty important agent. This will put a serious dent to their operational capability. Indeed. But that will be all we have time for today. Thank you all for watching. When we come back next time, more covert action. Oh, yes. <laughs>